What's going on guys, Liam here and today it's Teamless Tuesday for round 10 of the 2023 season, Magic Round up in Brizzy, everyone's coming up for it, Festival of Footy, absolutely cannot wait for this, haven't bought any tickets yet but I'm sure I'll get to a game, we'll see how we go, I'm going to have to pull a few strings to get a ticket though because I'm pretty sure a lot of it's sold out but should be absolutely incredible and just I was just looking at this screen right now. I I'd I actually really like the Warriors jerseys, but I reckon it'd be so much doper if this was black. How much, how much cool the green would pop a lot more and stuff. Side note, by the way. Now, for anyone that hasn't seen any of these videos before, I just do a Teamless Tuesday video. I just go over who's in, who's out, who's injured, who's suspended. Try and get it done quickly so we're not talking about who's playing and not for too long sort of thing. Get it done. And then um, it's really, real handy to do, especially with your tipping and um, your anytime try scorers as well because... For example, I made, we didn't do a team list uh, video last week because it was a short round. Uh, it was a short turnaround, and um, I had Angus Crichton as an anytime try scorer, and he was on the bench for most of the game, so I thought he was starting. So pretty important to uh, if you're having a punt or having a, you're in a tipping comp um, to make sure you know who's playing and stuff like that. So let's do this thing, guys. Let's do it. And I do drop them every Tuesday, guys, so make sure you're subbed as well. Man, I reckon this is going to be a really good game. Um, I'm not giving my tips in this video either. That'll be tomorrow, but... Um, a few troops back for the doggies, thank God, and same for the Raiders too. Xavier Savage back, but he's named on the wing. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sebastian Chris as well. He's never played fullback at first grade before, and I think he did such a good job uh, filling in. Um, he's a he's a centre. He's not even like a winger that can play fullback. He's a dead set centre, and I few drop balls um, first couple games but I, I thought he's been brilliant so shout out to Sebastian Chris um, holding down the fort there for Savage and um, Savage not getting his spot back right away that's how sort of good he's been but I, I'm sure there might be a swap in there at some point in time um, but yeah real real brilliant and obviously um, Hopawadi comes out for to make way for Savage Karaz back the beast Lebanon's finest um, Max King back as well, and Franklin Pele too. He's a beast. If you want to, uh, if you're a little bit bored, go look up Franklin Pele's highlights. They're uh, they're pretty uh, good. <laughs> He's a beast. Uh, Burns and Brown out there, um, but yeah, Doggy's trying to get some troops. But I had I had Raiders winning this easily, but I think they're a much better team with Karaz in there, and um, Kyle Flanagan still out of. Not looking like he's going to get a run again. Ooh, that sucks. <sighs> This is a crazy one, man. Seagulls, Broncos, this should be a real good one. A few weeks ago, I had this one circled. And I was like, I think Manly can knock off the Broncos here, but Tom's back. That should be green. Um, but, yeah. Um, Jakey out, Harper out, simply out. Sean Kepi in to start. I'm not a huge Kepi fan. I think he's a bench prop. He comes on, he loves an error. Loves that penalty. And, um... Not a huge meat reader either side, and I'm not not a huge fan of that. Obviously, the Broncos get Man and Payne Hass back. I think they're gonna they lost the middle battle last week, so I think that'll um, tidy it up. And yeah, they're gonna be a much better team. But yeah, Manly. I mean, Schuster out still. Man, they'll be. I'll bet they wish they didn't let get rid of Kieran for him. He's uh he'll be doing them wonders right now with Schuster being in and out and stuff like that. So anyway, I won't harp on him with that. Next we have Warriors Panthers. Um, Nickel Kusta back. He's I've been, I've been I think he's been brilliant. Um, so really good to see him back and Torhu Harris as well. Much better team with these two guys in it. Dylan Walker still in at six. Um, but yeah, uh, man, if, if, if this is obviously a Warriors home game, if this was in New Zealand, I think Panthers would have a serious problem. Um, now Eisenhoof's out, but luckily the monster. James Fisher-Harris is back, so he'll tighten up that middle. I've always said I think Moses and Fisher-Harris are the best one-two props in the game. Um, best like combination of props in the game. They're just no flaws. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, but uh, Spencer Lenu named is in, but he's in on the reserves, so I'm not too sure if he'll get a run or not. Maybe they're just uh, holding him off a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's um, they're going to be a much better team with uh, Fisher-Harris in there, trust me. And um, yeah, Fanul Blake and uh, Fanul Blake and uh, who's the other property for them? Uh, Bunty, they're going to have their uh, work cut out from. But they're they're no slouches either, guys. They're they're absolute monsters. So that's cannot wait for that game. It's going to be a cracker. Um, next we have Sharkies Dolphins. Who we got out here? Hugh Ellie obviously got hit, dropped on. 
Um, but a few ins back. So Fanuka comes back. I th- I, McInnes has done a brilliant job in at the 13. Um, however, Fanuka's just that rock. You can't leave him out of your starting team. And then I, I sort of like McInnes can come on and just really play anywhere and rip in. So um, they really get strengthened there too. Ray Stone and Robert Jennings out. Uh, Tessie New back, uh, which is good for them. And Anthony Milford back as well are named on the interchange, which I think is a little bit strange. Um, yeah, but anyway, but what do you do? That's, if you want to have Milford on there as a utility, that's fine. Do your thing, Wayno. I'm not going to question you. Do your thing. Who am I to question the GOAT? Um, all right, so no real ins and outs for the Storm. Eisenhuth comes in on the interchange. Uh, Liam Knight back. I think that's really good. Uh, Jai Arrow back to the bench. That's where I think he should be in this team. I'm not saying he's a bench player, but I like him coming off the bench and ripping in a little bit more. And then, um, so then we've got Hame Sele and Totola in. That's this, I'm really like, 1-13, to 13, I'm loving this team. It's, uh, yeah, they're going to cause some problems. And this is just going to be a sick game. Absolutely cannot wait. Maybe I'll go to this game. When is it? Saturday. I wouldn't mind watching that game at all. When is it? What time? Through for Saturday night. Cool. Go to the strippers after. No, I'm just joking. I don't do that stuff. Um, and Davy Mole is out too. So, but yeah, that's uh, Liam Knight's a good in, um, solid player. You know what you're going to get from him every week. West Tigers come riding high after their big win, rolling in. Um, Brett Naden out. Um, and the big move though, Zach Lomax dropped. I just did a TikTok video on this. I don't know if it's a time to be dropping Zach Lomax. I mean, he hasn't been setting the world on fire. His goal kicking's been average at best, but he's, pro- he's definitely been in your top five players. You know what I mean? Could, could he be better? Hell yeah. He could be much better, but I still think he's been one of the better players. And... Um, yeah, strange, strange move. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Brett Naden's actually been pretty good for the Tigers, so that is a bit of an out. We've got Toa and Tula, Talao. Tommy Talao. Uh, don't know. Um, yeah, so uh, man, I reckon Tigers will get this one. They might be two on the trot. Riding high, hottest team in the NRL, West Tigers. Roosters, Cowboys. Oh, my God. Oh. Now, this is a strange one. Now... Paul Momorowski's out, and rather than putting Joey back in the centres, they've left him in at six and put Drew Hutchinson in there. Um, strange one. Jared comes back. He's always going to stiffen up their middles. Angus Crichton, and Tupanu are still on the bench. I personally think these two should be starting for the Butcher Brothers. I think Butcher Brothers are more bench second rowers. I, yeah, they, they're really good players. I just don't think they have... Uh, hold a candle to Tubanur and Angus Crichton. I think these are two of the best second rows in the game. Um, so um, I dare say when they get their legs under them, they'll, they'll go back into the starting lineup and the Butchers will go back to the um, back to the bench. But we'll have to wait and see there. Um, and the Cowboys, man. Nanai out, Chester out. I just, oh, I just don't know what to say. The t- Biggest letdown to the NR this year by mile. And the funny thing is, I actually said, before I started recording any videos on I said, I think Cowboys are going to suffer a little bit this year from, sec- you know, that second year syndrome. Like, everyone's taking them seriously now, doing more tape on guys like Nano and Drinkwater and blah, 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 and stuff like that. And but I didn't think they'd fall off this hard. And then when I watched their preseason and stuff, I was like, nah, they've got so many good players, they're going to make the eight, it'll be fine. So my initial thought was right, but I still I didn't think they were going to fall off this much. It's actually mind blowing to me, man. Like um, Titans Eels. Now this is a strange one. So Jaden Campbell comes in for AJ Brimson. Hopefully he recovers quickly. It's been really good to watch. I've been really, really good. To, good to see him do well. Now um, Andrew Davies, who got released from the Bulldogs, literally was it last week, straight into the starting lineup. For Parramatta, with Bryce Cartwright, who I thought has been doing well, man. And, and Ron Madison on the bench. That is weird, man. That is weird. But, yeah. Matt Dory on the reserves. Uh, Sean Russell, Jack o- Yeah. Um, and I thought this dude, um, I can't pronounce your name, brother. 
but he played last week. He's off. He, oh, I'm not even going to try, brother. I'll just. Um, but he, I thought he was great last week, coming off the bench, big side, big boy. Uh, probably not, not ready for to be a starting first grade or anything like that. But I thought he was pretty damn good. And um, I know uh, what's his name too, Matt Dory. I know he hasn't been. Br- I mean, sorry, he hasn't had a lot of game time. But everything I've seen from him has been brilliant. So don't know what's going on with Parramatta here, but yeah, that should be a good game. But, um, oh, sorry, that's what I wanted to see. Too. So Kieran Forney's named, my bad, or that should be green. Um, so he obviously was carrying a few niggles and stuff like that, so big in for the Titans. I wasn't too sure if he was going to play. Um, but yeah, buddy, I'm telling you now, Seagulls wish they had him right now. It'd be uh, really, yeah. I just heard too, I can't believe how much they paid for Schuster. And how much the Titans paid for Kieran Foran. So they're paying just 800 when Kieran Foran's getting uh, 550 at the Titans. Like, are you kidding? Like, yeah, we are mind blowing. But that's it, guys. We're done. We know who's playing, we know who's not. Make sure you're tuned in tomorrow, guys. I'll give all my tips and who I'm going for and all that sort of stuff. And um, bring on round 10, bring on Magic Round, and I'll see you on the next one.